Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the ramp that's used for the Ribbon Chapel by Hiroshi Nakamura and NAP Architects. It's quite a cool little building, a chapel, and it looks amazing with this spiral that's going, that's kind of a little trail that you can go to the top of the building and then go back down. And yeah, I thought it would be an interesting challenge to model in Revit. But before I get started, I would like to ask you to like this video. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. So let's get started. I'm here in Revit and I'm going to be using the architectural template. And first I'm just going to set the units to meters because that's what I always do first. And now let's start modeling. So first I'm going to go here to annotate and we have this detail line in Revit, but I prefer using the shortcut. So I'm just going to type in DL for detail line. And here we are. So we're just going to kind of create this detail line sketch that we're going to be using later on to create the actual ramp. So I'm just going to create one one meter line segment this will be kind of a top then I'm going to create an arc over here at something like 20 and make sure that it's a 180 degree arc and then do another one meter segment here wait okay one meter segment and then I'm going to do an arc that's going back this way okay so we kinda have this beginning of the spiral so Next thing you want to do is you want to create just a kind of 10 centimeter segment like this and then one meter segment like this. And then again, you go from here to here, create this or no, basically you use an arc and you go from here to here. Yeah. And from here to here. And then you just keep go going like that. So you go again. 10 centimeters, 1 meter, arc, connect this to that, and this to that. And you keep doing this. Okay, so now once this is completed, you can delete these segments over here. So delete this and this as well. Well, we can leave this one over here, so just go D DL and do that one. Okay, now we have to do the other side or the kind of the landing that comes or basically the end of the spiral. And to do that, again, go into DL. And here we're going to create just this 10 centimeter, then one meter, and then an arc. And we're going to connect it to this here. So kind of like that. And do the same thing here and then end it over here and do another like this create an arc and kinda do it like so and you can kinda end it over on this side so I'm just going to do here 10 centimeters 1 meter and then an arc okay so once that's completed let's delete these elements that we don't really need and this one we'll leave the center one okay so now it's time to create our actual ramp and for that I'm going to go to architecture and go to floor and now we can use this sketch that we created and I'm going to go just here with pick lines so I'm going to let's do the inside one first so I'm going to pick this line this line this one this one as well both of these this one and you just keep on selecting okay I selected this one accidentally so just delete it so we have our spiral and if I go into 3d it looks kind of like that and once it's finished it looks like that so let's do the other spiral spiral first and then let's change the heights so I'm going to go back to level one yeah level level one let's do the other one go to floor and again go pick lines so pick this one this one and keep picking like that okay and go finish okay so now we can extrude this up so I'm going to select this one and go modify sub elements 
and now we can modify these sub elements so I'm going to select this and move that to 5 meters and it looks quite weird but don't worry we're going to move this one to 5 meters as well and then this line if I can select it I can move to something like 4 meters then move this to 3 meters and move this to 2 meters and there you go so you have something that really looks like a ramp and now let's do the same thing for the other side of the spiral so go modify sub elements move this to 5 meters move this up as well so let's do this at 4 perhaps or maybe let's do this at 5 I don't know could look interesting or yeah maybe pull it down a bit yeah let's try 4 okay and do the this one as well at I don't know something like 2 maybe a little less 1.5 yeah that looks right and now it's finished okay and now you have this cool looking spiral now you can add the stairs or not the stairs the actual railing to this by going into level 1 going into site plan and here you can just go railing pick a host and you just pick the host you want like this and then you just use the pick lines tool and you can create an offset of 0.5 perhaps and then just offset this to the inside well I missed over there like this to the inside yeah and now you just delete this one and go finish go into 3d yeah and we can always change the railing to something that looks a bit nicer okay so this is pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day